Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we are playing Minecraft with all kinds of peoples and friends and stuff. We have Rhino. Hey guys, how's it going? We have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. And we also have a talk with Jesus of the Iron... I always get that... Uh, too many words. Too many Iron words. Thorn Guild. Iron Thorn Guild. Yeah. And, um... We are working on things. Yeah, definitely. Just, just built you a door, AC. I see oh, that. You did? That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to come out there. Although, I don't know if I want to show it. I guess we could show it. It's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to be a little secret entrance, but you know, it's, it's there. So if you guys watch the video, you guys get to see a little secret that you're not supposed to know about. Well, they can see the gate. They get to your place, but they don't know how to get into it. Well, I just came out from under, so they, they got to see <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> Well, if they're watching your video, obviously they're going to know, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, and later how do you on, make I, the door, by the way? The, the, the gates like this? Yeah. So basically what you want to do is just have um, blocks above. Let's see here. Let's just do an example. What are you guys wearing? We both have Nothing. like these uh, skeleton heads on or something. Yeah, you, we can wear player heads and stuff like that. So any any mob that drops a uh, drops a head, you can wear that head. <laughs> it's just like putting just like putting pumpkins on your head, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's the same concept. You just put the head in your uh, in your helmet bar, and there you go. All right. So basically, what you want to do when you're making your gate is you set up your little area where you're going to have it to where. There's going to be blocks above and below where you're going to be putting your gate at. So you want to have boom, 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 and then boom. On the top of it, you want to put a sign. And on the second row, you put brackets and then type gate. And that will act, that will do the gate for the top. And then usually what you what I what I've been taught the best way to do it is to go below underneath it like this and then do the same thing just type gate again same command same stuff I don't know why that's glitching out like that now putting a shutting is it that... oh that's me oh is that you okay I was like what's going <laughs> on and now it, it'll it should work so like both signs actually I could click on both signs and make it work and it'll open and shut, open and shut. But it, as you see, this is kind of a small example since it doesn't actually pull it all the way up. It only pulls it up to a certain spot. So obviously I had to go one more up to make it an actual entryway for us to go through. And to do the curved ones like I did on these on these other ones right here, you just got to make it to where those extra blocks that usually like aren't going to be having a top to it um, because of the curve has a block sitting on top of it. And then it'll work just fine. Uh, it's not too difficult. No, it's actually one of the easier plugins that I've I've gotten so far. <laughs> it's the one that I understand the easiest. That and, and th this is also the same thing with br bridge too. So th it's the same concept with bridge. Like if you want to make a bridge, like that one over there, that's on the other side that opens and closes. Um, on one side of the bridge, you put bridge, and on the other side, you, you do the same thing. And it'll just you whatever side you click on. It'll open or close it from that side. So hey, I'm, I'm leveling my bow by killing these monsters. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the the uh, one of the uh, weapon levels uh, things that we have. It'll, oh, somebody just killed a creeper. There's a creeper head yep, over here. Yep, I did. So you said you can turn these um, these blocks oh, on yeah. with the pressure switch. These redstone yeah. blocks, you can you can turn those on. Hey yo. <laughs> He's a creeper. Yeah, you should be able to. At least I, it, 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 those are the the lit ones. There, there's two types of different uh, of the redstone ore blocks. I think I believe it is. There's one that does for uh, like that one, and there's a one that's like they're always lit. I think, or they light up or something like that. I have to figure that out. It's, uh, it seems kind of interesting if I can get them to work just right. Yeah, because I want it to be a little bit, a little bit brighter down here. This is gonna have to be like a secret room. I can make so. uh, the lighting for that if you want. With oh redstone. yeah, yeah, I definitely appreciate it if you could do that. 
Still not quite sure what I'm going to do with the floor. I think I'm going to leave that symbol down there because it looks kind of cool. Did you finish with your your uh, pumpkin pie shack? Yeah, yeah, it's done for now. I have a villager in there just uh, hanging out. Yeah, right, villager so, nice. Yeah, how far down or how much do I have clearance to uh, take three blocks up? Three blocks up? What do you mean? Uh, oh, I... I lighting did, in here. I think we went uh, pretty far down. Oh, there so we go. We're there, four blocks down. Yeah, so there's a the roof right there. So just one block up. Let me grab that, actually. Oh, uh, we need to... I'll seal it up. Oh, done. Well, I gotta come back down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the one who took it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I got these um, these lanterns that uh, Rhino was telling me about that are the redstone ones. So I don't know if that would give off a nice, like, red glow or what, but... Uh, it gives off a nice uh, white glow. Uh, if you want to go ahead and put them in behind me as I'm clearing the space... Just right here on the roof the whole way, or...? Uh, yeah, you're putting them in the exact right spot, too. Let's see, I want to do a pattern for it. That way there's a nice uh, like red theme going up there as well. Maybe throw some red blocks in there. How far over is this going? Oh, look at that. They already light up. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's how you do it then. And I was just doing that for fun just because uh, it looked cool. Although it's, yeah. not, it's not quite uh, lining up to... The ones here on the side, I may have to throw some some redstone on that. So let me see if I can do that. There well, we you're go. You're gonna use the redstone. Um, I want to go down. Blocks. Then it's actually going to not require what I was gonna do to it. What is this gate? Oh, okay. So your gate's still there. Yeah, that was just a starter gate. I mean, I probably I'll make something better for your your entry later on. No, I like it. I, I definitely like it. Well, I want to get it all set up with um with pressure plates. So I figure since it's going to be kind of like a secret area, you know, it's just going you're just going to see this gate. You don't know how to get into it, kind of thing. And you actually have to have like a a certain way to get into it. You have to we can complete have a quest up. or something. Maybe. Like we ex Maybe complete a quest, and you have to go get a special item to drop into a dropper to activate the redstone signal to activate the gate to get you into the area. That would be cool, especially kind of, if it had this scenario. So, especially if it was something to do with like being evil. Like this is the black market. Only way to get down yeah. the black market is to, uh, you know, give a player head. <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, you, know. <laughs> you gotta go kill somebody. <laughs> gotta, gotta kill Mr. Bockers to be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> not right, not Mr. Barker's in the shop, but Mr. Barker's the real guy. <laughs> Rare spawn. I think I'm gonna go up a little bit. That way it doesn't feel so crowded. Let's see, one right there. I there hate counting blocks. Yeah, you would think after after so long, somebody would come up with a mod that would kind of count them for you as you put them down. You know, and just show you like what row you're on. I guess it kind of does it already, but not as um, as smoothly as you might want. Yeah, exactly. Especially with stuff that I'm I'm currently doing. It's like you know, using my world edit and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I have to know exactly how many blocks to make this circle, and just like I keep forgetting how many blocks like all these little cylinders that I've made are like because there's so many different sizes of them. <laughs> And now that I'm adding like the little ex extension ed edit to the tops of them, it's like, okay, I got to make this a little bit further out. And it's it just, it's getting all confusing now. Right. I, I wish I would have just done them all then at the time instead of here, just build a wall and then go back and fix it all. Well, you know, that, that's what this game is uh, kind of all about is, you know, adding on to something that you did previously and making it even better than it was before. So, you know, that's just uh, that's something you're going to be doing from time to time, I bet. Yeah, and I, that's exactly what I was doing all day long, and 
on the other part of the world actually because I haven't been in there for a while actually because I've been over here building over here so the past couple days I've actually been going back to that one to kind of doing some touch up work and been noticing some of the stuff that I've built and I'm like you know I don't like the way that looks the way it is now you know so I'm like let's put a little this to it a little add to that to it and I'm like oh that makes it look much better right. <laughs> but yeah and I just forgot how many blocks I counted I mm. was just <laughs> well, let's just try 21 and see if that's a good number. Get to start over. Let's see where it puts my, my, my what's it puts it at. Oh, that's perfect actually, but it was too low. Oh, that's I don't know maybe that, that that's not too low. I don't know. If this is dark enough. Like I want it to be like evil looking. We'll have to see how this works. Hmm. Yeah, it might be too bright in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go up one block. Definitely has a redstone feel to it. I don't know, guys. We might have to change that up a little bit. Maybe put some blue in there. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to uh, come up with these designs that uh, don't get too overwhelming. I'm guessing, let's see, let's get rid of these. So what are you working on, Mr. Boggers? I'm working on an archery range so that I can get some skill with my uh, with my bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's part of that MCMMO, I believe. It actually uh, levels up the, or is that the weapons level one? One of the two. They both kind of do the same thing. See, I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah. So everybody's doing something a little different. Now, this is the uh, server, guys, in case you're joining us for the very first time. This is Tenalore. That's what you guys are going to call it, right? Tenalore Reborn, yeah. And, that is the name of it. So. And the first one, you know, was pretty freaking awesome, to be honest. But you guys were learning how to do the whole server side. And, you know, anytime you add little mod packs... <sighs> you have some some issues with that occasionally so yeah and you know we're also we just want to try to keep that that the modded our modded server a little bit more private you know and we've been wanting to make i've been wanting to make a public server for a while so that's kind of like i just i just just went for it <laughs> just just went for it yeah i think it's coming out uh, beautiful man uh, you know I, Thanks, I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, it's, it's gonna look. I have real no clue what I'm doing there still, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get there. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's where you have to start out. You know, you come to uh, something for the first time, brand new, and as long as you kind of stick with it, you know, you'll find that uh, it actually does kind of turn out pretty well most of the time. Yeah, I just gotta keep telling myself that I'm still new to this game as well, and it, it'll get easier. <laughs> And I've noticed that games get easier once you play it a lot more often and you learn it. So yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I'm not even got a full year under my belt in Minecraft yet. So mount hunting. What's that? I'm out hunting. Oh, are you? Be yeah, because the archery range does not give you skill. Oh, uh, only for kills, huh? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's good. About that. That's good because you really yeah. don't want uh, somebody to kind of cheat. Yeah, but we can now yeah. have competitions at the ar archery range. <laughs> uh, have a Robin Hood style matchup. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'd incorporate the water around the edges somehow. If you can, can you put glass panes over the water so you can walk on them but still see the water underneath it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I might have to do that. So let's go ahead and take out the floor, guys. That way the uh, the water can lead you to where you need to go. That way, uh, you know, if you're if you're trying to create something uh, sneaky and if you're hiding from others, you definitely don't want to be giving away the position. But you do want your, your followers to be able to find you somehow. So, you know, like you said, maybe uh, you have to do something evil to get in here. But once you get in here... You're going to have to know the secret, so maybe we'll put some books in or something along those lines that will kind of tell you where you need to go and how to get in there. There we go. Yeah, we can actually have it even set up to where um, 
like with classes and ranks and stuff like that and kits like if you, if they want to be um part of your dark magic group or whatever uh they can rank up to that and get to that point where they can just do like a slash kit and they can actually get like a special uh items that you create for them or something like that like a pyromancer can get the blaze rod and mm-hmm able to do only certain spells off the blaze rod that kind of thing yeah okay let's see is it a glass pane is that it or is that only for probably, probably be easier to use the uh, the glass flames are usually for the windows isn't it i yep. i don't really use them that yeah. often so using what the uh i'd use your glass block a glass block oh but then you have to use a whole block for it yeah, so the glass plane will actually just if you put it like in a upside by itself without it actually it's like a, like a T kind of in a way and it just makes it like a weird shape. It's like a it's basically a window. Right. All right, let's let's do the glass block. I was hoping to have uh, more of the water in there, but you know what we can do is leave the water exposed in a few places and then put the glass on the on the other one so that you can walk over them just as kind of a little bridge like right over like here a little, a small little path through it yeah that way it's uh, more like a uh, indiana jones back when indiana jones didn't yeah. suck really bad guys <laughs> back before he was fighting the russians yeah it was, oh, i don't know what <laughs> that to say one was now. horrible that, that last one, one? yeah the crystal skull one and, and you know i heard the other day they're gonna be making another movie and i'm like no, oh, no, I'm done with I'm done with Indiana. I mean, now? are we doing the Cold War? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, the the moment he uh, he was tossed in a fridge with a nuclear weapon, I'm like, have you never heard of like physics? Are you just completely clueless on like how things work? I mean, that's it's, it's like the movie. It's like the movies. Like the Hollywood decided to take Minecraft for an example for physics. You know, it's like anything can happen. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I mean it just it boggles my mind though how how poorly designed that one was. I don't know, man, guys. Somebody, some of you guys probably liked it, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't no, for me. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, I actually own the movie, but I can luckily say that I didn't pay for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a Blu-ray, and they don't have a Blu-ray player, and they said, you have one, you can have it. See, that, oh. was, that was just the excuse. What they actually did was they bought the movie, then they watched it, and they're <laughs> like, I don't even want this in my collection. It's probably what my guess was, too. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I'll just give it to somebody else. That works. Uh, I watched, I've watched it a couple times, but it's not one that I will keep watching. Not like the other ones. The other ones, those are... Uh, I'll, I'll watch those over and over and over again. Right. You have a favorite one? <sighs> I, you know, I think Temple of Doom would probably have to be my top. That's a good one. Yeah. I, you know, the Temple of Doom was just always one of my favorite ones. You know, just short round being in it. You know, I think he, I loved him. You know, you got to have the comedy relief. Like Owen Wilson nowadays, he plays that kind of role. Like short round used to, you know? Where he's yeah. just like the wacky, zany guy you got on your your side and everything, you know? Yeah, that's, I think that was my favorite for sure. Just that whole concept of it. But yeah, that, 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 that when aliens and Russians are just like, okay. We're, Why we're does it keep saying I'm level four? <laughs> are you? I don't, <clears throat> I don't think so. I think what it does is it bases it off of the actual... Um, XP that you get from for enchanting and stuff. So if you actually switched over to your game mode survival, mm -hmm. you might if you're if you're level four there, that might be the why. Like I said, I'm still I'm not a hundred percent positive on how those are currently working. But I was noticing that too the other day when I was just kind of goofing around. Actually, I was walking around in survival for a while. Oh yeah, I, I am to... level four. And so I think that's what it is. That it goes by that. So that right. might be actually be the RPG, my RPG thing that I have dialed in. Cow, you gotta die. Oh, wow, instant cow death. <laughs> Is that cooked? It's raw. What are you, what are you killing? Cows? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get my bow leveled up to level two. 
See if I can at least. Wait a minute. How about the pig was eating stone? The pig was eating stone? Really? Yeah, it had stone on it. Huh. Let's see, that goes in at an angle. Oh, oh my bow is level two now. So what uh, what are some of y'all's favorite movies from from when you grew up? Uh, do you have any other ones besides Indiana Jones? Are you uh, like Aliens fans or Predators or you know are you more into some of the other like Newsies uh, for for musicals and? Um, favorite. Wow, that's that's How a hard question. The... Yeah, I definitely have a favorite genre. I guess you could say it was more like that action kind of thriller style. You know, that's definitely the movies that I kind of tend to lean towards when I'm selecting one. So, uh, just, like, Stargate kind of things? Or are you talking about, like, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies for the most part? Well, when I was a kid, it's definitely the Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of stuff. You know, I've like, watched every Terminator, you know, all those. And But I, I as I've gotten older, I've definitely kind of I, I broadened the mind, I guess you could say. I'm getting more into the, the Star Wars, you know, the... the galaxy style movies or the the fantasy realm style movies I, I like movies that kind of that don't just normally we can't just normally normally take place in real life you know i want something that it's a created kind of a world you know i want to get that when i'm i want to be told a story basically you know you know and not just something that can happen like in real life kind of things you know and a lot of the movies kind of seem to me nowadays are more tailored to that now so even then big but, but still but I don't know. Just that's just the kind of stuff that I like getting into. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I've I've always kind of found you got to use your mind a little bit more. Yeah, uh, it, one of the movies that I was watching, uh, I think it was last year for the very first time, and yeah, I kind of came to it way late. Is uh, Inception? Have you guys seen that one? Oh yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, I mean, it, it I definitely made not. you think. Yeah, Leonardo uh, DiCaprio, uh, or I think that's how you pronounce his name. I mean, I always kind of uh, do it the mean way, which is, you know, what everybody kind of makes fun of his name with, but I'm not going to repeat those. But yeah, I like him, man. He's, he's a really good actor, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's done a lot of good movies. Although, I was watching a YouTube video, and they were talking about, like, every movie that he's ever been in has been by, like, the same director, which, you know, I can't really blame him. You find a director that makes really good movies, why wouldn't you want to be uh -oh, in with him? Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, don't die. Don't die, horsey. Oh, boy. <laughs> My horse almost died. <laughs> it almost killed me, actually. Yeah, no, I'd be the same way. Right? I mean, you know, hey, if, the, if it works, why, why fix it? You know, is what I'm saying. And Ooh. the same thing yeah, for the director. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't That's the same for, um, what's his name? Uh, the Johnny Depp. He's always... Uh, he always has that one director that he's um, being put in movies with. You know, Johnny Depp is a really yeah, good actor. Important. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, he did like Edward Scissorhands back in the day, which I thought was just fantastic. I watched his uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and it was just creepy. Like, you don't I, like that? I, I think he went like way, way into the, like, the next uh, dimension on, on those uh those types of like movies like he, he kind of like embodies his character from pirates of the caribbean now where he's yeah. just like flipping his head back and forth like completely nuts unless he's just that good as an actor and he can embody that in the character so much that we believe he actually is so you know i can't uh, i can't fault him for it i mean he actually does a fantastic job it's just it's so over the top now it's kind of crazy where's your merchant gonna stand uh i figured he could stand over here in the center maybe and uh and sell stuff or what i kind of want is for this to be the first place you come down to and you're like oh what's going on there might be uh, potions down here kind of looking around and then i want this door to be hidden so maybe have it like open up when you when you step on something but i want to be oh. people to be able to see the water actually rushing yeah. underneath the door so they know that something's over there and kind of leads them into that direction yep yep so i don't know how to do automated doors but i think we got enough space over here to do one if uh, down the road, I'm coming back up. I, I'm still in uh, survival, so or not survival, but um, I'm not in creative, so I want to not die down there. Right. <laughs> and I have a bow that's that I made that's like a super bow. 
Oh, you, you've uh, started to, to do some crafting already? Well, I made I made a bow that I could uh, level up. That would be my super powerful bow. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, what kind of... Did you name it? Does it have a name to it or no? I haven't named the bow yet. Um, where's... Why is it? Come on, leash. Um, but it is now level 2 and 3 ticks into level. It has power 3, efficiency 4, um, breaking 3, knockback 2, infinity 1, fire aspect 2, and uh, it's level 2. So, Jeez. <laughs> I think we need to call that the, the baker sword or baker bow. <laughs> the pie man. The pie man. <laughs> <laughs> The pie man, that's like that. <laughs> hey, you got to the shop, you know. I mean, we call it the Mister Bocker's arrow. Definitely got <laughs> to got to have a little thing to it, you know. I got my little archery thing. I'm I'm about to go around and um with my horse and see if I can. Oh wow, you got holes down there. Make sure I'll kill my horse. Um, but I'm gonna try to break. shoot. While, while running by it. Oh, you're going to get on your horse and do some, some target practice? Yeah, some archery on the horse. Have you seen the... Uh, usually it's Japanese uh, videos that I see that, that do this. I don't know if anybody else in any other countries do it, but they have a, a competition where they're actually on horseback. Why they are you know going by a target and they're shooting as they go along. It's actually really beautiful to see them do it because they pull it back... At the right time, they kind of hold it for a half second. They're bouncing up and down on the horse, and then they let it fly, and they hit the target like every single time. It's amazing. I don't know if you've seen yeah. that sport yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, haven't seen that either. That looks that sounds cool though. I love archery. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, in the Olympics they got the uh, the skiing with the guns. I don't know if you've seen that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's kind of the same concept. They just uh, do it with bow and arrows instead, and horses instead of skis. So it's just kind of cool to see what other cultures are, are doing with um, their, their sports. Yeah, it's uh, the archery on horseback is uh, really cool. Oh, oh, oh no, horses don't float, or do they? Do they? <laughs> I think they can swim on their own. They, yeah, they just don't. Right, they'll, so they'll, they'll kick you off over if, if the, the block, if it's over two blocks though in uh, water though. All right, so can can I, just, I'm gonna lead them across then. Yeah, and then either push them across, or if you got a lead, just pull it. Come on, buddy. Come on, Malik Dory. It's okay. <laughs> Malik Dory. I can't believe you called him that. No. <laughs> what's the reference to that? I, uh, it's my it? uh, my show night on uh, EverQuest. Ah, okay. All right. Come on, buddy. Show me where they are. Show me the money, guys. Show me the money. Actually, that doesn't oh. look too bad. I actually like that. Yeah. What's that? Um, I'm adding a top, um, the top to the big, the big circle that goes out to the north gate. So I'm, I'm working on the top of it now, of how I want the, uh, the sphere to look. Oh yeah, I found, I found the mother load, chickens, pigs, all of it's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, this. This world, I mean, I I went flying around one day, and it's populated heavily with a lot of passive mobs. I've noticed. Yeah. I had this one, the one plains area that's really close by. That I, I swear, when I was went by there, they had at least fifty horses just roaming around this land. And of course, I'm walking around. I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't have. I'm in survival, you know. And I'm like, I I don't see one that I want to take though. Right. <laughs> yeah. It never fails. I never can find that like all black one or all white one. I'll find a bunch of horses, but I'll never find that one that's just perfectly all black or perfectly all white. Well, maybe if you have two black horses, mate. It that's the best way to try to get it happen. That's what I that's what actually I was doing on uh, Super Happy when I was actually breeding the horses over there, and I found that that's the best way to do it. But it's just trying to get one to come out all black first. <laughs> Uh, even yeah. over there, I went through so many horses. I I, I, I probably killed off a couple hundred. <laughs> I love how you oh, kill my archer skill. What? What? <laughs> just, my archer and that's skill just to find the two horses that I have in my stable there, AC. I, that's 
that it took me forever to find those two horses because at first I'd get one it was I'd ride it for a little bit and I find out it's just slow as all dog crap and I'm like no oh, we can't use slow horses <laughs> not when we have a racetrack here <laughs> right now I just like how you know it, it's kind of like in real life how you have to breed the horses you can get some of the the characteristics from the the parents but not always because there's no guarantee you know so some of these people in real life they spend millions of dollars to buy these horses and they get duds on the end of them or maybe not duds they're still getting a horse it's just not what they were expecting but yeah. it's kind of cool that you got that that same kind of concept going on yeah i do i do like that but at the same time it's frustrating <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially when you're, when you're trying for so long to get something yeah, there's literally days before I actually got those two horses over there. Let's see. Let's I, I felt bad for all the little ponies that I killed. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, wanted to live. Oh, your mommy don't like you. You're not the right color. Bye. Oh, man, that just sounds so <laughs> wrong. It did. I apologize to everybody out there. I'm really not a racist. <laughs> Only when it comes to horses, guys. <laughs> Only when it comes to horses. Only when it comes to horses. <laughs> <laughs> Only when it's horses. <laughs> Uh, I found a really nice sand biome. Oh, yeah? I've been looking for one. A sand biome? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should do an entire culture out there of, like, uh, like from Star Wars, you know, you got, like, the sand people. Which oh, is, yeah. Which is kind of cool, you know, because they got their own look to them and everything. Yeah, because I was actually, I wanted to find a desert... Uh, to build a like an Egyptian kind of uh, city. Well, there's a big, massive desert to the south of where you are. I think. To the south. I w I went out the door that um that that goes to the lighthouse. Okay. And yeah, and turned um turn east. I think. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Oh hey yo. I'll just do that. <laughs> yeah. And look behind you. That's this is all the sand over oh, here. Oh wow! Nice. All right. Oh, no, I'm lagging. Rebounding. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this would be. Per oh, I like how it's got the big hills too. That's yeah. rare for a sand biome or desert biome. Ooh. Oh yeah, this would be perfect. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill you. What are you guys attacking each other? No, I'm attacking a um, a witch. Ooh, there's a temple over here too. And I'm I'm in um oh 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 hey hey oh hey hey buddy hey buddy. This temple got buried almost by this mountain. You could easily walk oh, right oh, by that oh, without oh, even seeing it walk, if you weren't flying. Oh, so you goodness. could turn that into a dungeon then, because you know if it's hard to see. That's where you want to put like secret stuff in yeah. there. Man. Yeah, because it's usually you know you see like the two spires of the of the dungeon. You only see one in this one. The rest of it's underneath this like sand mountain. Right. I'm gonna have to write these coordinates down actually, so that way I know where to go back to. I definitely want to build something here. Yeah, I've got one little section of my uh, notebook that's just strictly for coordinates. Well, I mean, you know, if you're you're doing game design, you're gonna have to have, uh, you know, some some plans and and all that stuff kind of put in there. So I don't uh, I don't blame you for keeping track of that stuff. All right. Yeah. Oh no! Don't you? Oh all my right, goodness! Because you know, I was I'm playing a game right now no, 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 called no. Uh, Folktale, and the, the people who are designing that game they kind of run into the same issue where. They want to be able to play the game as much as possible, but at the same time, they're they're busy, you know, actually designing the game itself. Yeah. And so, you know, they they rely on other people to kind of play it and they watch it, and they're like, oh, okay, so you know, maybe we should do this, or maybe we should go that direction. So, you know, that's kind of what you're doing with this as well. You're doing like a let's play, <gasps> but I found all black horses. No way, all. Yeah, it's all black. I got to see. Look right there. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino, Rhino's like no way freaking it, how many horses did I kill and I never got any oh my goodness you've got a, like, right a whole here. squad of them yep yep oh. this one right here I need apples and then there's another one right over apples. here and a saddle 
I will take you. Yes, you will be mine. Yes. <laughs> what was that from? Yes, yes, you will be mine. Yes. Can yes, you? Mine. Can you oh. control? How? Can you uh, teleport with your horse? See that? I don't know yet. I. I, I I'll stay right here if you want to try it. Um, I was gonna say try this command. Uh, do um slash H C. Wait a minute. I don't. I don't have. Um. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still killing. So I don't have any of my. Uh, I'm still in the normal game mode. Oh, you're still in normal game mode. Okay. Yeah. Let me get up on this guy and let me get him. You oh, did I not one. just shoot back at me. All right. So let me do this. See if I actually will, this will work. No. Okay. I was hoping that would that command would work. It's actually a command that I've seen on uh, our last server that we played on. Uh, it's it's HC and you it would basically just collect your horse. And then you can um, then do like an H something, and it will drop it someplace else, wherever you want to. But hey, guess what? I can lead a horse to, to water. water. <laughs> to water. <laughs> oh, See, there's some good horses can... out here though too. Oh hey, oh, yep. Ooh, All right, I'm wait, taking let's... this. I, I'm taking this horse back. Hmm. Oh, an all pretty white one too. I need a lead. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get as many leads as you can on as many as those as you can. All right. Hopefully this is still. Yep, he's right. He's keeping up. Can you not uh, put redstone on, on obsidian? Don't know. I never tried. Yeah, thank you. I know too. redstone cannot transfer through obsidian. Oh, I, don't, okay. I don't believe so, at least. Hmm, I sure might like the red. All right, I am trying to figure out how to get back without losing my horses, my horsies. Oh no, where's my horse? Where's my other horse? I lost my other horse. Already? Did you break oh. the lead? I must have. Where where is it at? I can't remember where. How'd I get over here without going through water? That's the crazy thing. I'm I'm on an island. Maybe I was going so fast I didn't. See, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna say you're on a boat. I'm on, I'm a, on boat. a boat. Too bad you can't have boats bigger. Oh hey, there's my horsey. There's my red, my black horse. All right, let's change this. Game mode one. There we go. Get my lead back. I'm going to tame this one first. I hope I'm going the right direction for spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have it where you can incorporate uh, maps into the game so that people can kind of walk around with those and be able to find places easier or do you want it to be kind of difficult on them and, and not have uh, that kind of uh, cheat to be able to see things that quickly well I, I do have one plugin called DyneMap um, that if you can actually have the capability of split screening you could actually once I get it all configured up you could actually have the world map um, on your other screen as well with you too so I'm thinking about doing something like that maybe um, I can't. I will. I want a mini map HUD, but I have been able to find one for bucket servers for like for servers like this. It's just basically for modded stuff, unfortunately. Well, I mean, but you can still make the uh, the actual paper map. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that'd be kind of a good idea actually, and having some like set places on there for them to go. That'd be good for the questing actually as aspect of it. Right. I mean, especially if you can make the map not completely revealing. You know, like keep parts of of the area out. That way, they don't know what's there. And be like, yeah, here's yeah. here's a map of the, of the region, but all we know about it right now is this, you know. Uh, you could give them, uh, yeah, you definitely could give them the coordinates of that area, and then they have to go finish filling the map out. Because you could get, oh, you no, could no, just no, like, no. do like a portion no, of a no, map, no. and then uh, let them come in, pick it up, and go finish that map yeah. easily. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, actually. Okay, so now I just I need to I fill my would. entire thing up with different potions. Oh, and you're an all black one too, aren't you? Oh no, you got gray hooves or gray on the bottom. I don't like that. 
<laughs> it's gotta be all black. So picky. I don't know what it is. It is. If you, get, if you have your, if you have that one, I have one. We can uh, breed them to make more black horses. Yeah, uh, if I can get this one back, if I find the right way. Yeah, I'm working my way back. Let's see, um, is it wheat to heal them or just apples? Apples, I believe. And it's golden apples to make them breed. All right. Yeah, I like uh, I like the uh, designs and ideas that you guys are coming up All with. Right. Very, very cool. I found it. You did? Ah. You cheated. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but I found it. <laughs> I just went straight north of where we were at, and then luckily I one of the corners popped up, and I see it. Now trying to All get right. through the freaking trees to get over to it is the... <laughs> question <laughs> yeah some of these forests i'm gonna i'm gonna like i, I don't like this little that's something i don't like about this little area that i found like these oak trees that are they spawn in this area are so short it's like it's like one block and then there's the leaves on top of it and that's it it's like one block of tree and so you're trying to walk by these things and you can't because you're stuck in the tree you can't just walk around on the ground but see that could be cool because you can use that as a natural barrier to kind of protect areas like you want not just uh you know um, dungeons and things of that sort but you also want areas that are outside that people will naturally not find on their own yeah because uh they're just difficult to get to yeah and so uh, you know you'll you'll be out there harvesting you'll be out there actually doing um your trade skill you know chopping trees down and you might open up a clearing to uh it's just something really cool that otherwise uh, you would never have seen. Oh, crap. I can't get up there. That gate's not working. Potion of weakness. Which way are you going? Well, I was going to try to go around to the port, but I forgot that my horse can't swim. <laughs> and I won't be able to get up there. Don't you have a lead, though? Yeah, I guess I do. I yeah, I've been, um, I've been pretty much getting off the horse... And leading them both whenever, um, and you can fly, and they'll they'll, they'll speed over. Oh, will they? Yeah. So let's go ahead and speed these guys over this way. Oh, nice. That's cool. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's go ahead and bring them into here. All right. Now I got him in. Yay! He's here. All right. Come oh. here, horsey. Of course, I had to pick the slowest black horse out there. Did you? <laughs> this one's like dog turd slow, man. <laughs> <laughs> it never fails. I finally find one, and it's not the one oh. I want. <laughs> All right, so green or not green apples, but um. Yeah, golden, golden apples uh, to breed. I want to give them the uh, the the purple golden apples, the good ones. Notch. And yep, give them a notch. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Let's see. Let's finish this up. Okay, there's. Okay, oh. wait a minute. Oh, why are you wanting me to get on you? I don't want to get on you. <laughs> Oh, I haven't, I haven't trained this horse yet. Uh, there you go. Come, okay. Let me lead this guy over to you, or lead this guy over to your horse. Oh, I didn't mean to get on him. And uh, we'll go ahead and tie him up to the line right next to it. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> apple, <laughs> apple. There we go. Horsey! There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, All black. we got a black one, too. All right, so let's go ahead and just keep Spot these him. two next to each other. Ah. And then uh, we'll just have these two horses. Okay. All right. Those are, those are the, the, the horses, the black horses for the bleeding. <laughs> um, Could put them downstairs. Oh, yeah. Uh, and put them in their own special little thing down there someplace. 
Okay. Wait, you're still on your lead. Oh, I'm still tied on eh? Yep, there you go. Why can't I move? <laughs> and then I'm going to bring this horse back in here and I'm going to close all these gates because horses are leaving. And I just destroyed one. Right, Fantastic. Cool. Get back in here. Yeah. There you go. No, you got to stay in the gear, buddy. You you can't come out. But I want my I want my saddle back. <laughs> <laughs> You're not good enough to be ridden. Not yet. Maybe, not yet. Maybe you could sire something for us, though. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I like the way this is looking. All right, so we have our black one tied up over here. I'm gonna get up on Malagori. Can you replace this fence that I broke up? Oh yeah. Oh, why you're, is my horse not back? You're still you're still tied. Oh. <laughs> you did the same thing I did. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> what in the world? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these other horses out of my uh, my stables. Okay, that one that I put the black one down there. Uh, if you wanna. Uh, that'd be a good one for breeding, uh, for breeding horses, and that one right there. So, okay. with the, the slowest one that you found, that's the one that you yeah. want to breed. Well, you know, we'll get something. He'll he'll give somebody faster. <laughs> I'm hoping. Couldn't be any slower, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and his jump wasn't that good either. So, they'll level up though, right? Won't they? Or how's that work? I don't know how the whole jumping and all that they level oh, up. Come so, on, buddy. I think it, I thought it was always just kind of a set thing. Holy cow, this boat looks awesome. What spell is that? The boat. Otaku's back. Oh, is he? Yeah. You want me to add him to the call again? Yeah, if he wants. Yeah, and we can uh, we can end the actually the episode here because this is about 15 minutes in. Actually, I wasn't yep, yep. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. <laughs> we get lost in this game pretty easily, anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a great game, man. <laughs> It's too easy. All right, guys. Oh. The time. Oh. oh, oh, there we go. Come on, Lee. Come on, <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please check everybody's channel out. You know, like all that, all that kind of stuff. Anyone want to say anything before we leave? Just thanks again for watching, guys. All right, guys. Yep. Thank you so the much. Fire the cannons. Fire the cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Are they working? <laughs> One of them is. All right, guys. Thank you so much. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Subscribe. <laughs>